This video contains 17 calls made by Alec Murdoch while in jail. They continue in chronological order and are with Buster, Randy, Lynn, and John Marvin. Take a listen. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, Bob. How you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Am I catching a bad time? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm just, um, I just walked in the den where I could talk. Girls are, are home and sleeping still. Well, that's um, good. Yeah, I was sitting in bed messing with the computer and stuff. Tell Mary Elizabeth that I, get, I got her letter Thursday. I know she said she sent it a while back, but I guess they held, I guess they weren't giving us mail for COVID. And anyway, so they gave us mail Thursday and they opened back up the canteen, so they're letting people back in. Jim said they told him he could come in Monday. He's been trying to come here for the last three weeks, so. So they even, they, like, they don't supply the canteen. They shut that down. They shut, it, they, going on. They, shut, they, they shut it down, and there's been slim pickings around here. Oh, the guy gone. But yeah. It, it is what it is. Y'all doing okay? Yeah, man, we're doing good. We're doing good. We had a skeet shoot last night for Laura, and uh, we hosted a, a wedding shower, if you will. But it was a skeet shoot wedding shower, and it was nice. I bet it was fun. Yeah, it was. It was it was a good crowd of people and pretty good pretty big crowd. I don't know, it might have been eighty or ninety people. Did John and, and Buster uh, them come? No, no. I suspect they weren't invited. Um you know, I mean it was a wedding shower where Chase and Laura did the the list, you know. I got you. They're the ones that did it. Um they are they're down at Green Swamp uh camp and it's Liza Grace's birthday. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, I, I didn't know that. I knew they were going camping. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's not a birthday right now, but it was last week, and it's um. Anyway, that's what they're doing. Which uh, doing pretty the Super Bowl. I don't think we have any plans. Well, if we, if we have any plans, I don't know them. So, I mean, nobody's asked. Pull it for? And you know what? I don't know, man. I I don't really. I, I don't have a. I don't have a way of saying I like this team better than that team. You know. I mean, I always thought Joe Burrows was kind of a, uh, you know, he wasn't too very flashy, and I kind of like that. And then, uh, he wasn't, what's yeah. that? Yeah, he seemed like he pretty, pretty well grounded. But then, but then you, about the other two stories are really, what, Stafford? Is that a thing? Yeah. You know, he went to Georgia. Yeah, that's right. He, um, he went to Georgia and Bo, and he went, when he went to the pros, nobody, he, he just never even hardly played at all. And it sort of finally got his chance, is what I understand. So, well, he played. He played at Detroit, and I mean, he did okay, but he just never had anybody around him. He was, he was still he was a starting quarterback, but just yeah, and he was a starting quarterback, but he just and I mean, he was regarded as good. It just he never could do anything, you know. Yeah, but he certainly wasn't one of the best in the league, like he's been this year. But well, both. I'm, I'm going with man. Joe Burrow just because, I mean, he had an injury that was so bad last year. No, I didn't know. I didn't know what injury did he have. Uh, I can't remember. I think he broke his leg. or his, He broke his leg. or I mean, he had a really, really bad injury. And, like, early in the season, like first or second game, was out all season. And Anyway, and I like the fact that as a receiver that – is on his team, went to college with him. They've been playing together for, I don't know, five or six years. Right. Amari now, Chase. Will you be able to watch it? I mean, can you, can y'all go somewhere where you can watch the game? I think, the, I think, I think we'll get, to, yeah, I think we'll be able to watch it. I hope so. Yeah. I got you. We're well, good. Well, hey, uh, hey, brother, I, and I never have, so, like, can you, can you pull up news? Can you read articles? And can you watch the news and stuff like that? I can't pull up articles. I don't see a newspaper, and I can't pull up any articles. I don't have any access to any kind of online, any of that. And, you know, I can see the news sometimes. And it's mostly like CNN. Right. When I get to see it. So you're not really able to keep up with necessarily what's going on. No. Just in, just I'm talking about in general, not specifically, but no, neither one. I, I really, I, I, I try to at least keep up with.
COVID, you know, what's going on nationally. And every now and then, I get to see the local news. Not much. Not much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've been keeping up with a little bit of whatever's going on with this stuff with the truck shutting down and everything. I don't even know anything. Oh, yeah, up in Canada? Something like that, is yeah. it just Is it just in Canada? I think it's the Canada-U.S. border. I don't even understand the details, really, but I've just seen it. I, I just saw a picture of it the other day, but, man, I hate to say it. I, I need to quit doing I mean, I, I just have quit watching the news. I've quit reading the news, you know. But obviously, because of all this stuff, you know, all this stuff with you. Sure. But I need to not do that. I mean, hell, I ain't keeping up with current affairs and stuff. Well, Jim's yeah. coming out here tomorrow, and hopefully um, things are going to really uh, – I hope everything's going to loosen up. I mean, it's been really shut down with COVID. I'm convinced that I had COVID early on in this process. They put somebody in here that was positive for COVID who was basically asymptomatic. We didn't know he had COVID until after, you know, even though he was – in his in his cell, you know, his flat was open, and you know he was in the room right by the phone. Anyway, shortly after he came in here, everybody in here had like a head cold. I mean, it wasn't anything bad, but it was like a head cold, a bunch of sneezing, and it, I thought it was just ever since something in this jail gives me gave me allergies. You know, where I had to start taking Zyrtec, I was sneezing so bad every day, but. It, it, it kind of came back like that. So that was like January, I don't know, that was like three and a half weeks ago, four weeks ago. And then like a week later, a bunch of other people got sick. And then a day or two later, they gave everybody COVID test, you know, the ones that you get back in 15 minutes. And all of us mm-hmm. came back negative in here. But we were already over it by then. We, I mean, we had, you know, it had been more than, a, like, I don't know, at least three or four or five days we had been symptom free. But then a bunch of other people had it. And they say it just went through this jail like crazy. Right. Right. I mean, they shut crazy. down. Apparently, I mean, they shut down a lot. And I don't think anybody was allowed in. Jim had been trying to get in here since, you know, for a month. Right. So, um, what do you look like tomorrow, Randy? What do you mean? Uh, are you going to be around? Yeah, 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 I'll be around. All right, I'm going to try to call you tomorrow. Okay, that'll be good, I'll be around. Well, Jim, um, like I said, Jim's coming out here. I don't know what time, but when he gets, uh, uh, when he, after I talk to him, I'll give you a call. Yeah, I'll be good. You, you give me a call, or if he needs to, you can call me, give me a call. Whatever it's about. It might be that way. It might be he gives you a call. And um, tell Mary Elizabeth that I don't have any paper right now, but Jim's Jim's supposed to bring me some, so. Right. Okay. And I need Caroline's address, too. I, was, I, I thought Mary Elizabeth said she gave it to me, but she must have been saying she gave me her address. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'll find out. I'll find out, though. I mean, obviously, I don't know it, but... Well, I can get it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that sounds good. I'll definitely do it. All right, well, all things considered, everything else is okay? Yeah, I mean, everybody's doing okay, you know. Obviously, you know, dealing with dealing with everything that's coming up, you know, day to day, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing, though. You, you can never believe it, not reading it and seeing it, but it was just, it was just no, I, can, I, 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 I'm sure I don't know, but I, I, I try to have some idea. I mean, I, I can only imagine what y'all going through and dealing with, and I hate it. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, um, it's sad to see how many people are hurt, but, you know, I had to, um, I had to do something at the bank the other day, and uh, I, Saw Mr. Charlie and I just uh, you know, went in there and talked to him and uh, I mean he's just physically sick, you know. Sure. But, 
I can only imagine. That's one of the things I'm going to try to talk to Jim about. So. Yeah. All righty. Are you um, doing good? What? You doing good? You know, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm doing all things considered. I'm doing good, you know, just yeah. can't get, I don't know. Just, I just, I, I, I hate it more than anything. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing fine in here. That's not the hard part. The hard part is, you know, just worrying about everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I know what you're saying. All right, man. I'll, 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 hopefully, I'll be giving you a call tomorrow. That sounds good. Thank you. Man, everything good. checked oh. out and talk to you oh. soon. Love you. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. Good morning. Good morning. What you doing? Oh, not a whole lot. Just got up and got moving. I was hoping I didn't wake you up. Nope, nope. We're up. Well, good. Good. Goaty doing okay? Yep, he's doing good. Well, we got a puppy yesterday, so... Uh, you did get it? Not, yeah, we did get it yesterday. So you not, got the same kind of reason you got? No, we got a um, a Bernie Doodle. Um, it's black and white. And, a what? Uh, the, it's called a Bernie Doodle. It's a Bernie Mountain Dog and a Poodle. A Bernie's what? Mountain Dog. Is that a big dog or a little dog? Yeah, it's a big dog. It's you know it's in its normal state, but um, but the one we got is a miniature one, so it's not gonna get too big. And it's crossed with a poodle. With a poodle, yeah, but to help with scared. the hypoallergenic stuff. Well, that's good. So, yep. You doing okay? Yeah, you know. Finally, hopefully, this COVID stuff's um, finishing up in here. Yeah. No. I mean, they they quit canteen. They wouldn't let anybody in. So it's been some yeah. pickings around here. I can imagine. That's awful. And Jim and them have been sure. trying to come in for a month and haven't been able to, but he's, he said they told him he'd be able to come tomorrow, so he's supposed to come tomorrow. Well, that's good. At least they're starting to let people back in. Yeah. I mean, it... it uh, I'm convinced that I had COVID. Everybody tells me that, at least Jim told me, that everybody he knows that had it is like having a head cold. Yeah. And it can be, yeah. They put a COVID person in here, um, I don't know, I, I sort of lose track of time, but about a month ago, and then me and everybody in this pod, I thought it was got allergies, cold. but they just got real yeah. bad, and then they go head colds, and then... We didn't know the guy had COVID for, like, I mean, we just thought we had a little cold or something or allergies. And then it started going through here, and then they came in and tested everybody. By that time, we were all negative in in this little pod, but everybody else in this dorm, you know, there's there's one, two, there's eight pods in this dorm, they call it. And Mm -hmm. all the other pods were, I mean, they were all positives and... We were all negative in here, but I mean, it ain't no way to keep it from one part to the other. So no, keep it it's not. It's all got it. But yeah. Anyway, well, all the kids are good. Yep, they're all doing good. Everybody's uh, kind of floating along. Um, Mills and her boyfriend have started looking at places to live here in Somerville. We'll see what happens. They gonna get a house or apartment? They're looking for a house. Um, it's it's kind of hard right now because the house prices are so high. They've kind of soared in the last two years, and so it's harder to get started. But they're going to try to find a place of their own, you know, a house to buy, not to rent. So, are you good with that? We'll see what they're able to do. Are you good with that? Yeah, and so you know, I would rather the follow the normal course of things and get married first, but, you know, that's not the way they do things this year, this time. No. I, I mean, I think it's smart for them to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And we, we really like him. He's a nice guy. So. He seems like it. Yep, he is. He is. Well, that's good. Well, tell them all I said hello. Hopefully I'll be able to call you um, 
little little more often, maybe. Yeah, we're we're to start yeah. Canteen back tomorrow, so that'll be good. That's good. That's good. Uh, so and you still got money on your account because I know you did before if you hadn't had it since then. So uh, I know they. I mean, they let us order like Thursday, so I had money on it. I'm okay. not sure if I got it to order this coming next Monday, week, but I'll look. Well, yeah. All right. Well, we all, y'all gonna watch the yeah, Super Bowl? Right. We're yeah, we're gonna watch the Super Bowl. Alan Alan just wandered in and said to tell you he's thinking about you. Hello. Tell him I said hey. Tell him says hey. I thought about go the other day. John and them were camping at Green Swamp. And yeah, on the last Grace's birthday. So. And I thought about running catfish lines with Goody and Paul. <laughs> yep, always something you were doing. All right, well, tell them hello. I sure will. I sure will. You take care of yourself and stay in touch if you can, okay? Love you. All right, love you too, Alex. Hey. What? You taking a nap? No. How was camping? It was all right. Did y'all do running lines or anything? We went fishing, but that was about it. Like... Pole fishing or like cat fishing? No, like fishing, like for crappy. What did y'all have minnows? Crickets. Did y'all catch any? Yeah. How many? We caught a lot. We only fished for about uh, thirty minutes, but probably caught probably caught ten, ten or eleven or so. Crappy, all crappy. Well, no, we caught a bunch of brim, but we threw those back. Huh. So they were biting good. Was the water up or down? It's about average. I assume y'all were in Hodgins? No, it's too late. Is that where y'all camped? No, we camped over. We camped in the field of Little Turkey. At Little Turkey, way back there? Yeah. Did you stay in the trailer or the t- or tent? No, I slept in a tent. What did the trailer look like? We didn't sleep in the trailer. Did you go in it? Uh uh-uh. uh. Imagine the rats probably, you know, they take over every so often if you don't clean it up. No, we, um, John took the RV and we had a couple tents. Did y'all have generators? Yeah. So y'all were comfortable? Mm hmm. What was the temperature? At its lowest, probably 45, maybe. I got you. So you slept in a tent with Randolph? Kind of ran off, got up in the middle of the night, and went, um, went in RV. Went, yeah. Now, did you try to get him to sleep in the RV beforehand, and he had to sleep in the tent? Yeah. <laughs> he kept you in the tent. Yeah. Did Brookie go? Uh uh-uh. uh How's she feeling? She's good. Well, good. Where are you watching the Super Bowl? Her condo. Just the two of you, or y'all having a little. People over. No, nah, just two of us. You, you're probably tired as hell. Um, I am tired. I um, I didn't sleep good Friday night because Hank was barking at Eki, and then obviously last night I slept on the ground. So you didn't take a mattress or anything. I did, but I mean, still. What you took one of those air mattresses? Yeah, too like it. I went and bought an air mattress from Dix. It was kind of cheap. Why didn't you just take one of the blow up ones we have? Um, I don't. I don't know. Where's a bullet mattress? I don't know. Moselle. Or, I don't know. Somewhere we had five or six of them. Edisto. Well, I didn't have any of those. So. Ten four. Ten four. All right. What y'all cook? Um, got burgers, hot dogs, breakfast this morning. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. You know, it's just. Did you cook or Look, your mama? I did. Well, good. So, where are you now? At Brooklyn Sunday. Who are you pulling for? Bengals. Me too. Do you know what the line is? Four and a half, uh, L.A. The Rams? Of course, yeah. I'll be honest with you. It, will, it ain't going to hurt my feelings to see Matthew Stafford win, but I'm for the Rams. I mean, I'm for the Bengals over the Rams. Yeah, I like, I like Joe Burrow. I do too. Joe Burr? Yeah. 
What is shysty, Joe Shysty? What is that about? I don't know. All right, well, catch you a nap. Jim's supposed to come see me tomorrow, so I'm, I'm planning to give you a call. I know they're letting Canteen in tomorrow, so things are opening back up. Okay, yeah, I spoke to him and Dick on Friday, so everything's okay. good. All right, I'll call you. Um, I'll call you tomorrow. All right. Where are you gonna be tomorrow? Um, here in Hilton Head, Valentine's Day. You taking a holiday? N- no, but well, I mean, I have to be here, like you know, Brooklyn wants to hang out and stuff. So, but where are you working? Is is Brooklyn taking working remotely? Working remotely tomorrow, and then Tuesday, uh, I gotta go up to Charlotte, and then I'll be what there on Friday. Gonna- what are y'all going to do tomorrow night? We're just going to hang out and cook some food and whatnot. Did Lizzie put flowers out for Mom? Um, uh, actually, she said she was going tomorrow, so she's going tomorrow. I know she promised me she would. Yeah, no, she, she said that because I told her that I went over there. I went over there Saturday because I had to go through Hampton. Um... And then she said that he had asked her that, and then she said she was going Monday to do it. So she's gone. She hasn't gone yet. Is everything okay? With? You went to the cemetery? Yeah. And everything was okay? Yeah, everything's fine. You okay? Yeah. All right. You got to get those markers and stuff. Yeah, I think I think somebody's working on it. I'm not really, I'm not really sure who... I think Lynn's working on getting one for Daddy and then getting some ones for me to pick out to give to Mary and to approve. So, so. All right, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? I love you. All right, I love you too. Bye. Hey, man. Hello. What you know? Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Just working. Good time camping. We did, we did. Um, you know, it was a it was a good family event, and the girls enjoyed it. They got scared at about midnight and came and got in the RV. Yeah, left the Buster, tent. Buster told me he had to sleep in the tent, and then Randolph got up and came in the RV. Yeah, so the girls got up about midnight or so, scared and whatnot, and got in, and then Randolph woke up about three or so and came in. But it was good. We cooked hamburgers, and I took them down to the lake, and we fished for a few minutes, and all the girls, the little girls, caught a fish or two. Did y'all fish off the bank or in the boat? Off the bank. On that little bluff? Yep. Yep, that's right. That's right. I didn't fish there when the boys were little. No doubt. Man, I hadn't heard from you a while. I mean, uh, uh, Jim said that they've been on lockdown there, I guess, because of COVID. Yeah, they had COVID, but I talked to Lizzie. I, I've called Buster the, the few times I, I've, I've been able to call, and I actually talked to Lizzie once or twice, but just for a second. Right. So, but it seems to be opening back up. So, well, good. You know, loosening up a little bit. So, everything else going good? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Just trying to, trying to keep up, keep up with the kids. Well, good deal. Going in a different direction, you know? How do you think Buster's doing? No, well, like, I think he's doing good. I think he's, I think he's, he's pretty, he has times where he's, you know, pretty sad, um, you know, just, you know, with the losses. And, you know, just, you know, he's a, he's a strong kid and he's smart and he takes his way through everything. And, you know, I think he's going to be fine. In fact, I know he's going to be fine, but, you know, just like you would expect, he he has tough times. We all do. Yeah. You know, but I think he's I think he's doing I think he's doing okay. You know, considering. Oh, good. Yeah. Now he and he and Brooklyn are getting along well, and you know they're doing a lot together, and you know he's just keeping a low profile, and you know, man, every everybody is harassing him for no reason. You know, trying to, they're really not succeeding, which is good. What you talking about, like the media and everything? Yeah, just yeah, you know, just trying to critique and criticize any little thing that he might do. So he's been very low profile, and he's doing a good job. Like what? Like he's what keeping his head. 
So he won't you know, just, jump just being in. just being out and about, and you know, and nothing wrong because he hasn't done anything wrong. But, but you know, if they see him out trying to hit a wedding, they saw him dressed up in a in a tuxedo, which was a formal wedding, and they criticized him for you know for that, and just just meaningless things, you know. Who 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 is it? Like social media, or is it like? No, like you know, like Fix News and 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 some of the reporters that that really aren't trying to do true reporting that are that are more trying to sensationalize things to create something out of out of nothing. But but he's doing good, man. He's uh he's working hard. He's you know he's he's working in the accounting department now, and they promoted him, and he's he's doing well. Tell me that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I, I feel like he is, and he, you know, he's he's doing all the right things. There's no doubt. So, and amazing. we're doing a lot together. You know, he, they went skiing with us the other day. Yeah, he told me. Yeah, and we had a good time, and you know, of course, my kids absolutely love being with him. You and Lizzie doing okay? Yeah, yeah, doing good. The kids are good. She um, she's leaving to go visit a friend of hers. Um, up in the northeast this weekend. She Mary Marvin has a skeet shoot she's coming she's up. Going to Maine. Yeah. She's very good about writing me. Yeah, she's told me she's written a good bit. Well, good deal. How's How's Randy doing? You know, man, he's um, he's doing well also. You know, he's got a lot on his plate trying to, you know, trying to to sort through everything with the law firm and. And you know they're they're doing all the right things as well, you know just you know they're getting a lot of backlash, you know insinuations that they've done something wrong, which we know they haven't. Right. So, but you know, man, he's just you know everything would be so much better if if, if the reporting, if everything was truthful, you know that's that's all it needs to be is. Well, you know, it's not. I mean, going back. No, to that's the, right. They didn't report shit that was. Well. Because the truth that, that was you, comprehensive. I mean, some of it might have been true, but it was snippets and bits and pieces. They take, yeah. you know, one thing out and print it when out of context. No, well, that's right. That's right. But anyway, all right, it's, man, well, it's I unfortunate. Just, but I hadn't talked to you in a while, so I wanted to say, hey. I'm a, I, I, well, I'm I, glad I, you called, but yeah, Buster's been with me a good bit, and you know, I'm keeping an eye on him and. Like I said, he's doing all the right things. He's working hard and, you know, doing what he needs to be doing. He's, uh, I'll be uh, he, he's doing well. He gets to start school back and do that and yeah. get moving towards what he wants to do. All right, man. I'll, uh, That's right. All right. Well, I'm glad you called, man. It's good to hear from you. Uh, it's good to talk to you, too, and I'll, I'll, I'll right. hope to be talking to you soon. Talk to you soon. All right. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you doing? Driving. I figured you might be. I figured you'd be on the road. What time you got to be there? Um, I mean, there is a, there is a, like a time. Um, someone might be up there around one. Or Are you close? Um, yeah, I'm not far. I'm, I'm about to get, about to go around Columbia. And then what, it's about an hour to Charlotte? Yeah, it's not all. It's not truly all the way to Charlotte. You go up 77, then you get off on 485, and you go a couple miles down there, kind of down there. 485 is what, like a perimeter interstate? Yeah. Around Charlotte? Yeah. I got you. So what is it, just a little bit above, like, Rock Hill? That one. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's it, like a little bit above Rock Hill? No, I mean, it's a good bit above Rock Hill. Um, it's, like, it's like right along the border. Good for Did you watch the Super Bowl? I did. Pretty good game, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I definitely think the Rams had the better team, but I was pulling for Cincinnati. But, I mean, Cincinnati gave them all they could handle. Yeah, that yeah, was good. Ten for You staying in a hotel tonight? Yeah, I'll stay in a hotel until Friday when I come back. Ken Ford. Jim Marvin said somebody that one of the news places was giving you a hard time about 
being at a wedding? Um, well, I mean, that lady just released the podcast and just, it just said a bunch of shitty stuff. Totally non non reporting stuff. What's that girl what's that girl's Mandy. name? Mandy. I mean stuff stuff that has nothing to do with anything. I mean she she talked for ten minutes about my cummerbund and a picture that someone took of me at a wedding. <laughs> what does she stalk people's Facebook pages? Yeah, man, there there's all kind of Facebook groups and they'll just like put pictures in them and stuff and whatnot. I mean there's all there's all kinds of stuff. I'm sorry you're having to deal with that, my man. I don't really give a shit. I mean, they can take pictures all they want, dude. I understand. I mean, I don't no. do anything wrong. I know. I just know it's aggravating. I know it's aggravating. All right, well, things have opened up, so hopefully I'll be talking to you more regularly. Did Dick or did Jen come yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. What is that? Um. I mean, we just talked about a bunch of stuff, how to, you know, maybe bring all this to a head, hopefully, I don't know. Um, well, I, I told Jim, but one thing that I forgot to tell him, and one thing I need to tell you, is that this money is going to be heavily penalized when it's when it's moved. Which money? The money from the, the trust account. All right, well, we'll talk about that. I, I'm not sure I understand that, but we'll find out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, an early withdrawal is, is it, it, it causes penalties, and then also it'll be taxed. Well, when is the time for the, when is the time for it to be moved? No time soon, I don't believe for it to be. I mean, not until you're the age of like 59. But that's out of my retirement account. Nah, I think this works the same way. Who told you that, Ronnie? All right, let me check into that. I'll um. Let me check into that, and I'll, hopefully, maybe I'll be able to talk to you tonight. Well, I mean, I'm just telling you, as a heads up, I mean, I got, I mean I'm going to move it, but, I mean, it's it's roughly about 3.30 now, and, I mean, it won't be near that. I mean, it's going to be the fees and, and penalties. At least what? I mean, it'll, I mean uh, to my math is, is that, I mean, it'll be, you know, 80000 to 90000 in fees and penalties and tax and everything. All right, well... Let me talk to him about that. I didn't understand. I don't understand how that is. I mean, I just think I just think due to the fact that it's an inheritance, and I don't know. Apparently, it's 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 to be liquidated this soon, and without giving it a certain amount of time, creates early withdrawal fees. All right, uh, I got I got I don't know. I just know that he told me there would be fees and tax. Yes. Fees and tax. Well. Let's find out exactly what those are. All right. And um, all right. Let me. I'll try to call him. I'll try to call you back. It's a lot looser now, so I shouldn't have trouble. Okay. All right. You drive safe, okay? I love you. All right. All right. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. You in your office? No, no, no. I'm home today. I came home today. You came home this morning or last night? Well, I went to Columbia last night, and um, I just got here about 20 minutes ago. Where are you at Okatee or Brookies? I'm at Okatee right now. 10 for What's you doing this weekend? We're going to Charleston. What, what's going on there? Seaweed. Oh, good. Who's going with you? Jack and Anna, and then I mean, we'll know a handful of people there. Yeah, well, you'll know a bunch of people there. But they're going with you. Y'all staying in the same place? Yeah, we, we got a hotel room. Where you get a room? Um, over there by Ripley Light. Um, Is that Marriott? Marina. Yeah, whatever, whatever the marina hotel is. Cool. Well, that's handy to everything. Yeah, it was just if you cross the river. I mean, it's not far from downtown, but if you stayed over there, then it was like it was a lot cheaper than trying to stay at like. Francis Marion or something like that. Uh, oh, I'm thinking about the other marina. You, yeah, you over there by California Dreaming. Yeah. Well, y'all go to California Dreaming to get your Long Island iced tea and some nachos. Remember we used to do that? Yep. Uh, all right, well, what time are y'all going when Brooklyn gets off? Oh, 
Yeah, not so much later. I mean, we, we won't get there until 7, 8 o'clock. Uh, I hope you have a great time. You had a good week? Um, yeah, yeah, busy, but it was fine. I mean, so what's the deal with this new job, Bus? What new job? The new, you know, you're doing a different job. Um, I mean, I just do, I just do a lot of different stuff. And you get, a, you got a raise? Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. All right, well, give Brooklyn a big hug for me and tell her I said hello, okay? All right. Everything else okay? Uh, yeah, everything else is fine. All right, and I probably won't bother you over the weekend while you're down there. Um, I may call you Sunday night, but I, I will definitely talk Monday. Okay. All right, you good? Yeah. Who's at Okatee? Nobody right now. John's at work. Liz is in Maine, and the kids are at school. You got to pick them up? No. Nah. Who's picking them up? I'm assuming John is. <laughs> All right, old boy. I love you. All right, love you too. You have a great time this weekend, okay? Will do. All right. Proud of you. Thanks. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you doing? We are uh, playing golf. You playing golf? Yeah. Where are you playing? Sergeant Jasper. Oh, you playing with John Marvin? Yeah, and Randolph and Scooter. Oh, Lord, that's a crowd. All right, well, I'll try to call you later. I don't have but just a second anyway. I just wanted to say, hey, how was the... Uh, okay. When did you get home from the seaweed? Mm, they are um, 11.30, 11, maybe. Uh, so y'all didn't do anything today. Y'all just got up and came home? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah, we did. We had a good time. Good, good. Did anybody give you any shit? No. Good. I mean, I'm sure pictures and stuff were taken, but I didn't see it happening, so. Well, I'm just glad you had fun. Brooklyn, have fun? Yeah, she did. All right. Tell her I said hey, and I love you, and... If I get out tonight, I'll call you tonight. If not, I'll call you tomorrow. I tried to All call right, Lizzie, but what time does she get home? I don't know, man. She's in Maine. Yeah, I know, but she's coming home today, right? Yeah, later tonight, I believe. Like, I don't think she lands in Savannah. All right, well, tell John, hey, hey tell him I'll, I'll try to get him a call soon. And um, I was going to call him, but I'm not going to bother him with y'all on the golf course. All right, I love you. Hit him good. All right. What hole are you on? Uh... Ten. All right. Are you hitting it good? Nah, it's all right. You know, this course is pretty shitty. Yeah, but what, what are you staying right now? I don't even know. I'm not even keeping score. But all, I mean, right. all right. Well, hit them good. I'll call you later tonight or I'll call you tomorrow. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you doing? Nothing. Just watching a little TV. You with John or Brooklyn? <clears throat> Um, I'm at Brooklyn's game day. Sorry about the calls earlier today. I, sometimes when I'm at John's, the, the phone just doesn't ring. I promise you it was no big deal. It was no big deal. Um, so, anyway, I was just calling to check on you. I can't talk with a second, so I'm going to call you tomorrow. And, okay. Um, did Jim come to you today? Well, I mean, Jim called me early this morning when we were both on the phone. No, I'm talking about after that. No. He didn't text you? Uh uh. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to say, hey, how's Brooklyn? Good. All right. Give her a big hug for me, okay? Okay. All right. And are you going to be available tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, I'll be mostly on the road, so. Where are you going? Uh, I'll be available. Charlotte? Yeah. You ain't going to believe this bus. Well, I'll tell you. I, I, I'll tell you tomorrow. I love you. All right. Love you, too. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Sorry to bother you again. I'm trying to call okay. Lizzie twice. Will you do me a favor? Yeah, I think she's in. I think she's in air. Um, so she had a bunch of weird delays with her flights, and she got like misrouted. And I, I think she's in air right now. All right. Well, I need her. Mars the deadline. I need her to get, put money on the canteen. Okay. Well. Is it something you can call her in the morning, or do, you, do I need to call her in the morning? Or? No, I need you to, to get 
text her tonight and make sure she remembers because there's no telling what time I'll get out to do it. Okay, well, what's the deadline? Uh, I think like 10 o'clock. Okay. I mean, that's the deadline for me to order. Well, I mean, isn't, isn't the transaction immediate? What? I mean, aren't the transactions immediate? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like if I... She does it, it shows up. Like, she goes on there first thing in the morning, it'll be fine. So what I'm saying is I call her 8 o'clock in the morning. That's that's okay. Well, are you going to remember to do that? Yeah. And I'll go... I don't know, I'll, t- I'll send her a text message tonight. I mean, I just... I, I just don't know when she's going to get it. And if she tries to get back to me tonight, I could very well be asleep. Okay. All right. That's the deal. All right. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hey, man. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? I'm not doing good. Busy. Very busy. So are you? This is a bad time because I'm be I'm be, you know, I can call back later for sure. No, man. I definitely can talk. I saw where I missed a call from you on Sunday. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I was in a um, I was in a store in Bluffton, and okay. I saw a missed call, and I saw it. But what you doing down there? Doing a little shopping. George buying a boat, and I was helping him get all the stuff for the boat. What kind of boat you know, did he get? A Grady White, twenty-four foot Grady White bay boat. Well, good deal. A very nice boat. Yes, and who did you get it from? The um, company over there called the Boathouse. Oh, yeah. Everything else is as good as it can be? Well, I reckon so. Just uh, working on cases and bow, and honestly, just kind of clean up, man. You, 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 you would, there's no way you can imagine all the fallout with with people and clients and cases and, you know, stuff that wasn't, Taken care of, you know. And I mean, I know you know that, but anyway, it's just. I can, I can imagine. Everybody, everybody, every day for hours and hours trying to do our stuff and that stuff. And that's a, that's a big thing. I can imagine, man. I tell you, I know it sounds, you know, hollow or trivial, but uh, I, I worry about it every day. I, I truthfully do. Yeah. Well, Bo, that ain't going Something or more that I could. That ain't going, about. That's not going to help you, honestly. You know, well, um, worrying about it. You know, it is you got other stuff you need to worry about and figure out how you can get better help to you mentally, emotionally, and physically. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. That. I've been doing my exercises, and I mean, I can tell a real difference. You know, like like just like right. you know, lay, like lay down at night if I touch myself, I can tell the difference. Right. You know, um, I'll tell you, I, you know, and I don't know, and I've never, I've, I've tried to stay out of all of this, but, you know, you and Buster and or you and John need to be talking about, you know, what you want to do with, you know, like your family and personal effects, you know, your photographs, um, you know, family photographs and things like that, that, you know, obviously, as soon as the court approves the sale of Moselle, I mean, that's, you know, you got lots of stuff out there. And what do you want to do with that? You know? No um, you know, and, and, and Bo, this ain't fun stuff to talk about, but, you know, the reality, like with your suits and stuff, I mean, Bo, you, you know, you might say, pick out a handful of basic suits and then, uh, you know, donate or sell or whatever the rest. You know, because you ain't gonna be the same size. Oh no, I definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not the same size. Yeah, I mean, I mean that stuff is not gonna keep well. So, you know, and it reduces some of the, the size. But obviously, all the photographs and you know, nah, the stuff is not. I'm, you know, the memorabilia. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. I, I'm you know, where is it gonna go, and what do you do with it? Right. But that and stuff, be, y'all ought to be talking about, huh? Buster and I talked about it a little bit. Yeah, and, you know, where do you put that and what do you do with it? I mean, it, you know, that does, that should never be thrown away, obviously. And it's not something to sell or donate. 
you know, the stuff that you're, you're always going to want, he's always going to want, but where do you put it so it doesn't get messed up? So, but anyway. I agree with that. You know, I've talked to John some about it, and I've talked to Buster a little bit about it, but, you know, mostly with John, you know. Have you talked to Buster lately? Uh, it's been a week or so. Um, we talked about something missing. Oh, yeah, he was, um, he was, I was getting a gun back from John Marvin, the gun that the girls shoot. I was getting it back from John so my girls could shoot it at the, at the wedding shower skeet shoot that we hosted. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, Buster was bringing it up here when he was coming to pick up a buggy or something from John Marvin's. What you talking about, the youth model Benelli? Yeah, yeah. That's right. So it's the one that, um, I bought it and cut the stock. It's, it's the, it's the same one like, um, like Buster or Paul had, I can't remember, but, but y'all stock is not cut, so it doesn't fit John Marvin's girl. I got you. Them. So I talked to Buster then, and they were getting ready to go camping down at Green Swamp with the kids, you know, just kind of get away a little bit. Yeah, they, they, went, they had a good weekend for birthday. So. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. All right, man. It sure well, did. Uh, Everything's going all right there? You know, I mean, yeah, everything's, I mean, it, you know, as good as it can be. So, but, I mean, it's fine. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to say hey. All right, Bo, I appreciate you calling, and I hope everything keeps going as well as it can. All right, man, I'll be in touch. This, this COVID stuff's um, broken, so I bet it's, it won't be as, Hopefully it's far in between, so. All right. Good to talk to well, you. Sounds, sounds good. Good to talk to you, too. Take care. All right. Love you. Bye. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Good morning. All right. Am I waking you? No, man. It's a one o'clock. Oh, I didn't know it was that late. Um, I, I, Buster, I tried to call Lizzie, but I couldn't get her, so can you? did you text her? I got her last night, and she she said at 840. She, she confirmed at 8.46 today. She said okay, well, I just didn't want to go out there because it locks you out, and the deadline's getting ready to come up. And if I go on there and it's not there, then it locks me out, so I just wanted to check. And I'll, I'll call you later today, okay? Okay, I mean, I am I mean, I texted her last night at 9.30 and said, you know, put money on a deadline tomorrow morning, and she texted at 8.46 today. She said, okay. Okay, perfect. I'll call you later. What time do you think you're getting on the road? I'll be on the road here between between now and then. Now and when? And then. And how long are you going to be on the road? Not long. I'm only going to Columbia. Well, are you going to be able to check this afternoon? Yeah. You staying at your apartment? Yes. All right. Why? Because you're going to Charlotte tomorrow? Yeah. All right, old boy. I love you. All right, you got some good. remote work today? Yes. Okay. All right. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. I hope you're not in the bed. Uh, about to get in it. Good for you. Did you have a good day? Um, yeah. It's all right. Long day? Yes. All right. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to call you today. I just want to tell you good night. I know you traveled. I want to make sure you were okay. And, uh, and I'll try to call you tomorrow. Hey, okay. what's a good time to call you while you're working during work um, hours? Well, I'm actually not working anymore in Charlotte this week, so... Um, Where are you now? I, I came back to Okatee. I went up to Columbia. Um, so you didn't Tuesday. have to go to Charlotte? Well, they called me Tuesday evening, and they said, um, you're not coming up here anymore. So I just stayed the night up there and came back down. Is that just this week, or is that good? No, that's just this week. I, I, I get back Tuesday. Ten for. All right, pal. Well, you with John and Lizzie? Um, I want me to at the house. Yeah. You upstairs? Yeah. Well, All I right. just got into bed. All right. Well, get you a good night's sleep, and I love you. I'll I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Well, Any time's a good time. Uh, yeah. Any time's a good time. But um, I um, I spoke with Jim today, so um. We gotta we gotta do something different than keep talking over this jail thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I love you. 
Love you too. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. Y'all on the road? Uh, I'm in Columbia. Yeah, I'm sitting here packing up. Well, kind of simultaneously deal. watching the baseball game. Who, who are we playing? Winthrop? No, we played Winthrop on Tuesday. We're playing George Washington. Oh, George Washington. We haven't got into the SEC yet? No. Well, it'll, be, right. it'll be two, three weeks for that. I'm just making sure you were doing good. All right, Brooklyn with you? No, but she's coming. She had to work a full day, and then she'll be on the road. All right, well, tell her hello. Tell her I love her. I love you. Y'all have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Sounds good. Love you, All right, proud of you. Love you. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you doing? Uh, nothing. We uh, we're down in um, Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. Jim told me you were going to the golf tournament. How is it? Yep. Uh, well, we haven't gotten to go. It's, um, it's been really bad weather. It's um, raining bad I mean, here, play, too. I mean, play was suspended all day yesterday is when we were going to go. Um, but now I think we're just going to go in the morning. Well, dang, I hope you get to go some. Didn't you go yeah, to yeah, no, we're, play there, boss? Yeah, I played at – I didn't play the course that they play at, but I played okay. it. Um, it's just like a – you know, TPC Sawgrass is one of those places. It's not like – Three or four courses, and we played not the, the other not the one. We, yeah, we didn't play the Island Green Golf Course. Ten four. Well, I know you were uh, busy down there. Jim told me you were down there. You were going down there when I talked to him this week. So, anyway, all right. Is, is Brooklyn with you? Um, she is. She's downstairs with her cousins. I'm about to hop in the shower. All right. Well, give her a big hug. You have a great day, and I'll check up with you later. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. Proud of you, buddy. Thanks. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? You good? How are you? I'm good. I said y'all were going hunting this morning. Did you do any good? No, no. It wasn't a very good day. It was low pressure and didn't quite work out. Sort of overcast? Yeah. No birds gobbled? Mm. Some, but not not very well. Who did you hunt with? With John and Mary Marvin and Randolph. <laughs> I'm sure that was going to work out well anyway. And then no doubt. Can he hold still? Yeah. The one time where we, we needed him to, he did. Well, that's good. That's good. Um, How's everything? Good. Hey, um, I had to talk to Jim a bunch this week, and I asked Jamie to call Brooklyn and wish her happy birthday. Did she do it? Um, yeah, I think she did. Um, but I, I know Brooklyn didn't pick up or anything. I, I think but she got the voicemail. Oh, she left the voicemail? Well, I good. think so. Um, well, good deal. Hey, um, how's your bracket looking? It's horrible. It is? Yeah, I made a bracket. Kentucky and Iowa got upset in the first day, and I had them both playing each other in the national championship. Are you kidding? No. So, I mean, I'm totally understood. Iowa was a two-seed, right? No, Kentucky's a two-seed. Iowa was a five-seed, but they've been a – lot, a lot of people, they were they were a trending team going into it. <laughs> I didn't know about Iowa. I knew about Kentucky. <clears throat> so. All right, bud. I'll – um. I'll touch up with you um, when I can, okay? I love you. Hey, tell John I said, hey, let me speak to John real quick. All right. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Y'all didn't have any luck. I'm doing all right. Y'all didn't have any luck. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we didn't kill any, um, but we had, you know, we had some good uh, good hunting. Um, we got set up on one bird that was gobbling pretty good, and, and uh, you know, we had a good time, and Mary Margaret was set, and, Randolph held still, so, you know, when it counted, everything, we did everything right. He just didn't come. Just didn't work out. Well, that's turkey, huh? That's right. There ain't no doubt. No doubt. Uh, he's like, it's always like that with me, though. Everything's good? Yeah, man. Everything's good. All right. Yep. All right. Yeah. Love How about you? All right, man. I'm doing good. Let me talk about the bus. Hey. Hey, sorry about that. John Marvin hung up the fence. That's okay. I, I, not, not a big he, deal. He just kind of, he just kind of reacted. 
That's okay. That's okay. Hey, um, Bus, is Brooke, are you going to see yes. Brooklyn today? I am, yes. He's going to come. She, she spent the night last night, then we got up to Haunt, and she went back to Hilton Head around 7. And, um, but then she's coming back here this afternoon. Uh, will you make sure and tell her happy birthday? Yes. Yes, I will. All right. What y'all going to do tonight? I don't think we got a whole lot of plans. I think we're we're about to get back and we're going to grill some burgers and some hot dogs. And then Mary and Marvel wanted to have a steak dinner. I know John's decorating the cake. Um, probably hang out in the yard, watch some of the games, just kind of just kind of hang out. Well, that sounds good. Y'all gonna be at Chichester or OKT? No, we're just gonna stay at the main house. I think we're gonna we're gonna go try it again in the morning. Um, turkey hunting. All right. Well, good luck. I may try you tomorrow, but it might be next week. It just depends, okay? I love you. Make sure you tell okay, Brooklyn okay. happy birthday. I will. All right. Proud of you. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Hey, Alex. What you doing? I'm sorry, Mr. Call yesterday. I'm glad you called me back. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good. I've been... Been worried about you. I hadn't heard from you in so long, and I just wanted to make sure everything was going good. I'm glad you called. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, you know, with all them. I know. You know not to call a lot right now until they get this thing resolved. But anyway. Yeah. So, go to, kill the, go to kill the turkey yet? He has not killed a turkey yet. I think the season actually began today, um, but he did go hunting yesterday with Caden, um, and he got one. Um, and so that was nice. You know, he likes being out the day? no matter what. Huh? Youth day? Yeah, youth day, exactly. I got you. Well, how's everybody? How's the puppy? Uh, he's he got to learn to potty train, but, uh, but we're getting there. So we're, huh. we're working on that. You know, it's a process with the little ones. How big is the puppy? Not very big. He weighs about five pounds now. Yeah, how, um, big will, how big will you get? Supposed to get between fifteen and twenty pounds. Oh, that um, thing. I thought it was small, right. like um, what's Lola? Lola, yeah, yeah. No, not gonna be quite that small, but probably about totally size, maybe not quite that big, but somewhere in between there. Ten four. We'll, we'll see how it goes. You never know what you're gonna get. Well, everybody's doing good. No. Yes, everybody. Found the house yet? Yeah. No, they have not found the house. The real estate market has just skyrocketed. Yeah. And, um, and you know, they're on the, the bottom end of it, and it's hard to find you think these days. That's Alan. What's wrong with him? Alan's working on the lawnmower, and we're we're just kind of hanging out while waiting on her to get back. So. Well, tell Jody I said, hey, tell him to kill the sure soon. Yeah. Oh, he's he's gonna put his best effort in. Like you know that he's gonna be out in the I gotta try to make a couple other calls. So I love you. I'll call you. I'll I'll call you soon. Okay. I love you too. Trying to check in every now and then. I just like knowing you're okay. Good deal. All right. All right. I love you. All right. Bye. Love you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.